Okay, so let's talk about the bag of blocks activity. Um, your data should be very close to what mine is based on the fact that I collected mine from the videos. Um, so you should have from bag A that blue was drawn 23 times, yellow was drawn 2, so a 23 over 25, 22 over 25, and 92 and 8%. Yellow was drawn 25 times, 100%. And then bag C, we have red 14, black um, 11, so 56 and 44%. And then brown 36, white 12, orange 16, pink 36%. So 9, 3, 4, and 9. Okay, so had we done this experiment as a class um, like we would have in um, if we were actually in school we'd see a little bit a few things different well, let's go ahead and look at the questions based on the data we have um, this is data you would have done in a group um, setting so for bag A what is the probability of randomly choosing a yellow block a blue block so our probability based on this data is these numbers I've written right here. So for yellow, um, we'd have 23 over 25 is our probability for our yellow. For, I don't know, that's for, uh, for, for yellow, it's two. For blue, we have 23 over 25. Okay, um, so that's what our data would have showed us. But if you looked in the bag, which we wouldn't have done this, but hopefully our data would have showed more of this had we, because how this activity is supposed to happen is um, eight different groups draw um, from the bags and get eight different sets of data for this experiment. Um, there, were tw there were 18 blue blocks and two yellow blocks in that bag. So our theoretical probability would have been 2 out of 20 here and 18 out of 20 which um, our experimental probability wasn't too far off that um, it was it would have got closer had we had more trials okay if you randomly choose a block 500 times from the bag A replacing the block each time how many times would you expect to draw yellow Okay, so we're drawing 8% of the time in our experiment. So 500 times 0 0.08. So we would expect um, to draw 40 times a yellow block based on our experimental data. Okay, but if we used our, our theoretical data, which we have here, which is Actually, so we're going to go 2 divided by 10 or 20, which actually gives us 10% of the time. So we would expect that, so this is ex by our experimental, um, by our theoretical, uh, we would expect 50. Um, draws so we're not we're, we're within the realm here as as we get more and more trials uh, more and more times pulling the block we're gonna see that our experimental and our theoretical data um, become very very closely related and almost identical okay so bag B what is the probability of randomly choosing a yellow block or a blue block. So we see that 100% of the time, 25 out of 25 were yellow. So our probability is 1 over 1 or 1 for yellow and 0 for blue. Okay, we didn't draw any blue blocks out of that, that bag. And if we actually looked what was in the bag, there were 20, 20 yellow blocks in the bag. So this is exactly what we should have expected is everything we pull out is yellow.
Okay. So problem number, or question number four. If you randomly chose a block 750 times from bag B, replace the block, how many times do you expect to draw yellow? Every time. Okay, so every time we, we expect to draw a yellow block. Okay, and that's theoretical or um, experimental. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Our data suggests that we are going to draw a yellow block, and that's all that's in the block, the bag. Okay, so from bag C, what is the probability of randomly choosing a black block? Okay, so um, black, we are about 44%. Um, 11 over 25, so 11 over 25 for black. And then red was 14 out of 25 for red. Okay, and zero for white. If we look at our numbers, you see that there were 10 red, 10 black. So our theoretical probability would be one half for each of those colors. And we found our experimental data showed um, pretty close to that. Had we drawn, kept drawing, um, our, our rule of large numbers would have those kind of even out and show that we were um, about 50%. Okay, what percent of the blocks in bag C do you believe are actually black, red, or white? So if you were to not know that information, then that's when you'd answer that question. I would probably think that... 56, red, 44% black, and 0% white. And I would just pull those straight from my percents here. I would assume that there's no white because we didn't draw a white. Okay. For bag D, what is the probability of randomly choosing a white or pink block? So white or pink, we had a problem. We drew 13 and 9. So, or 3 and 9, so that was 12 over 25, which is just below 50%. Um, that would be 48%. So 48% of the time we drew um, a white or pink block, or yeah, a white or pink. Okay. And then we had, so this is white or pink. And then we had 13 out of 25 for brown or brown and pink. Brown and pink was 18, actually. Okay, brown or pink. Okay, and that would have been 62% um, of the time. Okay, so 62% of the time it was brown or pink. Um, and that's where we're going to go ahead and end this video. We'll come back and look at these last questions um, on the next video.